So let us take a look at uh, the next part in the behavior tree. So the next part of the behavior tree would be our investigation. Now in here we want to have a sound location set. We want to have a hostile uh, target. Actually this one is wrong. It's currently is set. It should be not set. We don't want a hostile target yet because we don't we haven't seen the player yet. Here is the idea. But with a hostile sound set, then we have a location. So here we could actually just add a move to and have the hostile sound location as our target. And then we can have something like a wait to symbolize or let's put it for three seconds that it is uh, looking around or something like that. And uh, let's put three seconds over here as well. Uh, so this could be sufficient for us to have a sort of investigating um, behavior. So we'll, we'll leave it at that for now, but we need to have this hostile location send, uh, hostile sound location set. How do we do that? Well, if we open up our third person character, which is going to be the character that uh, instigates all the stimuli in this example, if you've followed along, you already have some of this in place, but if you're starting from scratch, what we have done is we have added a component. So you just click in here and you type in perception and you get perception stimuli source. So that's what we have added and we just kept the name. And for this, we have added uh, perception categories over here. And you see that we have added the sense of sight and the sense of hearing, meaning that anyone who can sense by sight will be able to see us and anyone who can sense by hearing will be able to hear us. So that's the first part done. The second part is that we have a key. In this case, I have the E key. It will be generating noise for us. Uh, so we have, uh, by pressing E, and if you select uh, AI perception stimuli here, for example, and you type in report noise, you can see report noise event appears. In our report noise event, we're sending in hostile sound as our tag, just so we can make use of it later. We're sending in our current actor's location as the noise location. And then we just have a draw debug sphere so that we can actually see uh, that where the noise is being made for debugging purposes. So if we were to play here and I press this key, you can see that the uh, the sphere appears there and you can also see that the character immediately ran over there uh, and the reason for that is that the character already has some logic here because if we go to our uh, BP soldier over there and our vent graph you can see that we have a bunch of stuff here when it comes to perception so let's uh, just go through what what is happening here and how we want to make use of it so the on perception updated AI perception, it means that if we have this one selected and we right click, you can get an add event for AI perception. And in here you can choose AI perception uh, on updated. Uh, this one will give us uh, an array of actors that have had their perceptions updated. We can loop on that array of actors and get their uh, specific actor perception with the help of our AI perception component and see what kind of perception information do we have about this specific actor. We can break that information out so we get all the different senses and we can loop on that and get the specific senses information. So by going through all of these and checking against hostile sound, the tag that we added for the reporting of noise, we can add a branch to see if it checks out to be that one. If it is true and it is successfully sensed, because you need to have, uh, a, you can also get a perception update when you have heard a sound, but a certain amount of time has uh, gone by and then it expires or you're not interested in it anymore. And if that happens, then you'll reach the point of, of this one being false 
So we want to make sure that both we're going through the hostile sound uh, and that it's uh, currently sensed. So if it is sensed, then we set a value, which is the hostile sound location, which is, if you remember, uh, the value that we have in our blackboard. Uh, and that one we set to be the location of where the stimuli is. So that means the sound location that we sent in, which in turn was sent in by the character's own location, where, the, where we drew the debug sphere. After that, we're also sending in some information like in survival mode, but this is only related to our civilians, so we're going to remove that. And we're going to be removing uh, this as well, and this one as well, and this. And we can remove this for now. So like so. So the only thing that we're doing is we're setting this information uh, when uh, we have determined that we have sensed something and it is of the sound sense, the, the hearing essentially. If we do reach the point though where successfully sensed is false, then we want to make sure that we're not having this information anymore. So we want to do the same thing here, setting in these values. But instead of having the vector set over there, we want to have it cleared out like so. Uh, target must have a connection. I did not put in the blackboard. There we go. Now with our vector being set to zero for our hostile sound location, that means that our AI character with its AI perception here which currently has the hearing has a max age of five means that after five seconds it will stop thinking this is relevant and it will go back to whatever it was doing before. So to illustrate this, let's see this happening. So let's see if I can manage to get all of this in one screen. So we have our character running around, we're making a sound, it aborts everything it was doing, it's moving there, it's waiting. We can also press apostrophe over here and get some information. And you can see that actually we cannot. Hold on, let's see if we can do this better. Uh, let's see, like so. And over here we want to have our AI character. Like so. And we can see what it's going through here. We can see that it's going through the branches of uh, selector, investigate, and wait. So we go back in here, we make a sound. Actually, it's still investigating. It should not be, all right, okay. So it's going through the investigate phase here still. And we have an error here. This is, Okay, this is uh, environmental. This is related to the other uh, tutorial previously, so it's not something we need to uh, pay heed to here. But um, the issue that is arising is that even though uh, we're setting this to zero, zero is still technically a valid value to have. So. Uh, this isn't necessarily enough for it to uh, abort uh, the, the investigation tree, the investigation branch of the tree. So what we want to do is probably uh, that we go over here and we have something like, we go to our blackboard, we add a key and we make a boolean is investigating. This will be more uh, reasonable to have. So instead what we want to do here, instead of having a hostile sound location set, we want to check that the in is investigation, is investigating is set so that we're actually investigating. So if we go back to our uh, soldier again, 
and the BP soldier. We're still setting the value for the vector. We can actually remove this one. We don't want to have this one. We, what we want to have is we want to have set uh, blackboard value as bool. And we want to make sure that we're setting this is investigating uh, variable. So to get the exact naming of it, we can go over here and we can just copy it from here. And we can drag off from here and make literal. And we type in the value. And we want it to be, it's not investigating when we're done here. However, we want to be investigating up here. So we can make use of this one. And we want to set it as true over here. So we're setting the, the destination where we heard the sound. Then we go into investigation mode. And uh, we want to have the blackboard connected over there as well. Uh, so that's what this is supposed to be doing. And hopefully this will be giving us a much better result when it comes to the behavior. Let's see, we can bring out, actually that's the one that we had er errors with. Uh, like so. And where is our behavior tree? I've lost my, oh, there it is. So we want to see what this one looks like. our investigation put it down here go over here we will give ourselves a little bit more space and we will press play and we will double check that we have everything selected properly the AI character is selected we can see that it's going through 0 8 and 11 which is the, the roaming so we'll make a sound it goes to investigate See that it's waiting once, it's waiting again. It's still waiting. It has not gone back. So something here is erroneous. Let's find out what that is. I just realized I could have just continued checking the debug tool here and see what it says because uh, up here in the middle we can see all of the blackboard keys that we have available to us so we can see here if it is investigating if it is in survival mode etc etc although in survival mode is meant for the civilian not for this but we'll press here and we can say is investigating is being set to true and still true still true So it seems like we are not having it actually being reset. So let's check our uh, character. AI yeah, character over here. We can... Did I really disconnect? Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, this one. So we have the situation where we want this... Okay. It, uh, that's my bad. You can see here, I forgot to uh, hook back up the false execution to go in here to set this boolean variable. This should be working much better now. So after five seconds, it will basically have run out of um, uh, it won't be investigating anymore. So you can see now, now it's back to roaming again. So that's essentially the second part being done. So it's uh, not that advanced. Where did I, I just keep losing my behavior trees though. Uh, there we go. So these parts are now working as we are expecting them to. Um, however, uh, we still have a situation of we wanting to do the, the primary part of this. Uh, AI, which is to determine uh, a good position to do the whole uh, covering and attacking system. So that will be the next part. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.